Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome in yet another episode of Little Modular. Today we will be taking a closer look at this insanely cool, aggressive, dirty module called RK4 by American company called Metasonics. Now, before we even start explaining what this module is about, I have to point out one important thing. As with all Metasonics modules, the coolness and the rawness and unpredictability of this module comes at a price. It requires a lot of power. So, for example, I have it set up here in a 6U Depfer uh, low cost base because it requires about twice as much power as it draws normally. It draws around 450 milliamps but it needs around 900 up to 1000 milliamps of power upon starting the system. You need to have this power reserved only for this module. So what is this module actually? It could serve you as a simple raw aggressive oscillator or a two-pole bandpass filter. The function you choose is dependent on whether you insert anything in here or not. If there is no signal at the input right here, it will serve as an oscillator. If you plug anything in here, it automatically becomes the filter. Besides that, you also have the uh, CV input for controlling tuning and output. That's it. So now let's hear how it sounds as an oscillator. You might spot it a little dot right here. That's where it's best to start to achieve fairly clean sine wave. And I say fairly clean because nothing is written in stone in this module uh, because it uses a vacuum tube which changes its properties um, with age and it's not always in the same state each time you power up your system it's going to behave a little bit different that's why it is so cool so the controls have a really wide margin and at some position they will appear like they're not working at all that's the margin for aging of the tube so don't worry about that and those two controls interact a bit together so you just have to tweak and let's face it this module is not about precision it's about grit about rawness so you just tweak those knobs until you hear what you like and record that's it coming back to the controls tuning as you might expect it sets the pitch the tune of the oscillator or a cutoff frequency for the filter below input gain output gain that's how it sounds as an oscillator When you tweak the resonance counterclockwise, it will make the sine wave sound more distorted and it's going to be transformed into more like a sawtooth. It gets some more harmonic content in it. You have to watch out for your levels when you tweak the resonance it could get really loud as you can hear so be careful with the speakers or the headphones until some very loud distortion okay sounds really powerful and really dirty okay so that's how it sounds as an oscillator now let's hear how this module will behave as a filter i have connected an output from my erica sense synth voice module which is driven by metropolis sequencer and uh, this is how it sounds like just like previously you start with setting the resonance around the dot right here and you have to be really careful because just the tiny tweaks just the small movements of the knob will affect the filter I want to uh, 
animate the CV in. Now we have to remember that this module won't respond too good to a vault per octave standard. It's more like the hertz per volt uh, standard. So you, you would need some kind of a converter. In my case, it's a good old Distinct 3 by Expert Sleepers set to A5 uh, exponential to linear converter and uh, the other way. So the information from pitch output uh, of Metropolis goes to the uh, X input on export sleepers and goes out of the A output which goes to the CV input on RK4 and that's how it sounds like You have to remember that the uh, CV is offset by tuning, so the tuning knob and CV input work together. You can hear it goes really distorted, really nice distorted sound. And you can also really crank it up so it goes way out of control, really distorted sound. Just have to watch your levels again. Now this module sounds cool as an oscillator and it sounds cool as a filter, but it sounds absolutely phenomenal as a distortion box for bass. And uh, I am kind of a distortion freak. I have all kinds of distortion boxes, starting with Sherman, some wave folders, having the culture voucher and, and different guitar pedals. But this uh, module is absolutely stunning for bass. Now you don't want to connect the bass directly to the module. Uh, you need to amplify it first and uh, I find one of the best modules for this purpose is a good old Depfer A119 external in. I have the modified version. I don't remember actually what I have modified but uh, it just sounds really nice and natural. The cool thing about this module is it not only amplifies the signal to modular levels but it also spits out the gate and it has envelope follower which provides signal that could be used with the CV input on RK4. Now, mind you, I'm not a bass player by any means, but I just love to play bass, so I'm on the punk side of the road. And this is just for, uh, for the presentation purposes. Let's start, as usual, with the resonance around the dot. Input cranked up to the max. Output summer around 9 o'clock. Now let's play with the tuning. So you can hear all kinds of aggressiveness. So, uh, as with other sounds, it's just massive and it's bonkers how many sounds you can get out of this thing. So, you can also put it into oscillation and turn it into some kind of a drone machine.
let's see what happens if we apply the aforementioned envelope follower. I'll just stick the envelope follower output to the CV in and let's see what happens. Okay, another. these kind of scratchy noisy sounds <laughs> so you could also fiddle with the input and the envelope threshold on the depth fur module so you could use different signals and it will yield yet more variations of the signal. It is an extremely versatile module. Crazy sounds. All kinds of nasty, aggressive, dirty, interesting, organic sounding sounds. Even though at the beginning I was really skeptical as to the uh, power consumption issues with this module, I am willing to cope with that because this module is so special and it gives me so much flavor and uh, character. So it stays definitely. It's really, really great module and I strongly recommend it and advise you to at least try it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.